Good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. King 5 meteorologist Adam Claybon here to talk about the few sun breaks that we have across the area, but also again, more rain going to be in place for a few. Looks like some spots might actually dodge the rain for today. Better rain chances coming around for everyone, if not during the day tomorrow, but it looks like most assuredly later on tomorrow night and into the earlier half of Thursday. So you can see right now outside skies are actually uh, fairly cloudy and we're still going to be dealing with a lot more of that here as we go throughout the day. Uh, but the rain chances, uh, they're going to be more hit or miss farther south like here closer to Tacoma. And you can see some of those sun breaks trying to uh, pop out. Uh, you'll see a few here and there. It's always nice to be reminded that the sun, it is indeed, indeed a thing here during this time of the year. Uh, but it is cloudy here as we head on into the first part of our Tuesday afternoon out at SeaTac Airport. We actually have more of the clouds that are there as well. Just not really seeing much in terms of any sort of rainfall that is going to be a little farther to the north, which we're going to show you that here in a second. Let's first talk about snow levels because those are climbing today and continue to climb tomorrow and stay up relatively high on into Wednesday night and into early Thursday as we'll see those snow levels around 1500 to 2000 feet. Now that will mean that the lowlands will be in the form of rain when our system comes through during that point. But it also means too that uh, with the snow levels being still pretty low, uh, we are going to see a good amount of snow ahead for the mountains as it pushes on by. On into Friday, Saturday and Sunday, snow levels start to come back down. So late Thursday night, Friday, maybe a little bit of a chance, but Saturday and Sunday, keep an eye out for some rain and snow chances throughout that point. We'll see if we're having to deal with any sort of accumulations around that time. And then looks like by Monday, we're seeing those snow levels bouncing up to around 1,000 feet. Sunday, I know it's all the way down to 500 feet, and maybe some of you heading out to uh, that Seahawks game uh, later on into the weekend. Uh, it's not looking like we're going to have the most amount of moisture in place. So we will have that kind of working for us, so we're not going to create too much of an issue when it comes to a lot of us who are trying to travel in for the game here in Seattle. School net side over in Wishka, cloudy skies. Uh, again, trying to see as many sun breaks as we can, but it doesn't look like we're getting a whole lot at all. Right now here in Seattle, you can see one of those sun breaks uh, actually fairly close to the space needle over there on the left, left side of your screen. Temperature sitting in the upper 30s, mostly cloudy skies. South winds coming in at about seven miles per hour. Here are your temperatures across the area here as we head into the early afternoon as of about 1 p.m. Uh, we're in the mid to lower 40s farther south around Tacoma and Puyallup and Olympia or upper 30s around Everett and Seattle. Remerton sitting at 38 degrees and then seeing more low 40s up around Friday Harbor, Oak Harbor, Port Angeles sitting at 46, low 40s in Bellingham. Now here's the satellite and radar picture. Let's go ahead and see if we can zoom into a few of these areas where we have some showers. Uh, first spot is right here over the San Juan Islands and heading across the northern interior. You can see some shower activity there. Some also very, very minimal mixed activity, meaning rain and snow mixing right there across the islands. Would be surprised if you saw some of that there or either up here across the extreme northern tip of uh, Whatcom County, getting it right up there by the uh, Canadian border, Ferndale up around Blaine. Uh, keep an eye out again for a very small mixture, but it's not expected to bring any sort of accumulations. Uh, that will continue on into the foothills. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see those showers do start to taper off as you get closer to Snohomish County and then farther south. Uh, we get a little bit of a better chance around more of a uh, Mason County, uh, Thurston County and southward heading down towards Chehalis and out along the coast as well. But the highest chances will remain farther north here as we go throughout the day. Here we go. We'll zoom out out for you and you can see uh, uh, relatively quiet here across the west coast. You see some showers down into uh, more of central and northern California. And then we got this big broad area of clouds here out into the Pacific. This is our system that's going to be impacting us with more widespread rain chances as we head into the latter part of tomorrow. So we're seeing the system is not too far away. It's just still going to take some time before it gets here. So for the rest of today, again, shower chances mainly farther north across the home. County, but more so Skagit, Whatcom County, and across the San Juan Islands. Out along the coast, maybe a few sprinkles out that way. Here we are into early tomorrow morning. No big issues for your morning commute. Some of those showers still kind of around, but they are going to be getting to taper off for the first half of the day. Uh, 2 p.m., uh, the shower chances that we're going to have that should be the most widespread over the Olympic Peninsula right along the coast. Then we continue on into 7 p.m. after sunset, and you can see those showers getting a little closer. And then we go into the nighttime hours, and throughout the nighttime hours, we start to see this line of showers sweep on through. It looks like, yes, snow levels going to be high enough that 
keeping this all in the form of rain, but this will be an overnight event. So some uh, pretty good downpours of rain as this sweeps on by and then also at the same time you can see how it really begins to flare up over the Cascades with some nice snow for those of you skiers and snowboarders. Some fresh snowpack uh, on top of what we already have there. So some pretty nice pow pow for us heading on into the latter part of the work week. So this is going to be moving on and through as we head into the morning commute. Not going to be the best idea to try to travel east across the state at that point. You might want to wait until later that afternoon and uh, really as we head into uh, the daytime hours of Thursday, it looks like a lot of the rain and the mountain snow should be heading on out of here. We'll get some hit or miss chances of rain as we head on into Thursday afternoon, probably more off and on chances rather than hit or miss. And uh, then we'll start to see that those will still be around even as we head on into Thursday evening. Convergence zone looks like it wants to set up right there uh, just around Everett, maybe a little south of Everett and kind of meander back and forth between Everett and Seattle as we head into uh, the second half of Thursday into Thursday night and into Friday. And you can see, yeah, snow levels trying to drop. So we could be dealing with some rain and snow or maybe just snow later on into the night and on into early Friday as that system is moving on by. And then we're dealing with more of those rain snow chances on into Friday. So we'll go back more into that type of pattern as we head on into that point. Now I, I wanted to show you uh, rain amounts that we're expecting with this first wanted to show you how those will come on through so throughout the course of the next couple of days and this is only going through Thursday morning at about 6 a.m. when uh, that main band will be pushing on by. We're looking at about a tenth of an inch, maybe more of a quarter of an inch to around a half an inch and then out closer to the coast, maybe closer to three quarters of an inch. So not a huge rain producer, but it should be a decent one as it moves on by. And then up across the mountains, we're talking about uh, some pretty good snows that will be coming through with this as well, which we're expecting to see at least a few inches to go along with this. So we're going on here through about the same time. You can see as the time progresses, we get closer to Thursday morning at 530. And at least at that point, we're talking about a half a foot of snow getting closer to maybe nine, 10 inches up around Mount Baker. We could see uh, some more high amounts as we go on into the remainder of the day, depending on where that convergence zone sets up and where we get some of those additional showers to uh, continue to uh, persist on into the remainder of Thursday. All right, so for today, expect your temperatures to uh, kind of stay more so in the mid to upper uh, 30s and some low 40s for some of those highs. We'll see uh, overnight lows tonight, not drop all that much. We'll get down into the upper 30s for some of those lows, so kind of just hovering and not really seeing uh, much in terms of change in temperatures as we go throughout the next seven day stretch, keeping highs around the low 40s, keeping the lows around more of those low to mid 30s and uh, the rain and snow chances again. We'll start to transition back over to more of that uh, later on into Thursday and maybe a small chance of that, especially as we go later on into uh, Friday evening and more so into Saturday after seeing some showers early, 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 early on <laughs> into Friday morning. And again, for that Seahawks game on Sunday, the matchup is looking like it's uh, expected to have a few showers, rain and snow showers around, but we're not thinking that it's going to be anything like what we saw this past week and this past Sunday. Of course, if you were more across South Sound, you probably remember all the snow that started to really just fly across the sky, wet, heavy, slushy snow at that point. So another pretty quiet day. If you have any plans later on this evening, make sure just to bundle up, dress warm. But other than that, I think you should be OK. All right, of course, we'll keep you updated on what's going to be happening for the rest of the week over the next few days. And I hope that you guys have a terrific Tuesday. Take care.